This screencast talks about non-deposit investment products. For the purposes of this lesson, an investment is a long-term savings option that you purchase for future income or financial benefit. While some investment products are sold at banks, they are not the same as deposit accounts because the money you invest isn't federally insured. When you invest money, there is also a greater risk of losing it than if you put your money in a savings or other deposit account. In fact, you might lose the entire amount you invest if the investment doesn't perform well. On the other hand, your investment may earn and grow more than a regular savings account because of the risk you take when you invest your money. In general, the higher the risk, the higher the expected rate of return on the investment. You make money on investments by selling them for more than what you paid for them, or by earning dividends and interest. The money you earn is considered income, and you got to pay taxes on it. The most popular types of investment products you can buy include stocks, bonds, mutual funds, U.S. Treasury securities, retirement investments. Stocks. When you buy a stock, you own a part of the company called a share. When the company does well financially, you may periodically receive dividends or a portion of the company's profits. The value of your investment changes according to the stock market. When you sell the stock, you may earn either additional money or lose money. Bonds. When you buy a bond, you are lending money to a corporation or government entity for a certain period of time, called a term. The corporation or government promises to repay the amount of money you are lending on it on a specified date in the future or by making regular interest payments to you. You can lose money if the corporation fails to honor its promises. U.S. savings bonds are a long-term investment option backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. government. There are two types of savings bonds, I and EE bonds. These bonds can be purchased at a financial institution for as little as $25 or through payroll deductions. I bonds are purchased at face value, which is the amount printed on the bond. In other words, a $50 bond is going to cost 50 bucks. I bond interest rates consist of a fixed rate plus an inflation rate, which may change every six months. Interest is added to the bond monthly and is paid when the bond is cashed. I bonds must be held for one year before they can be cashed. If an I bond is cashed within the first five years, there's a three month interest penalty. EE bonds are normally purchased at half their face value, so a $50 bond is going to cost $25. If you buy EE bonds electronically via treasurydirect.gov, they are sold at face value. All EE bonds purchased after May 2005 earn a fixed rate of interest. EE bonds must be held at least one year before they can be cashed. If an EE bond is cashed within the first five years, there's a three-month interest penalty. Mutual funds. Mutual funds are offered by companies that combine money from many investors to purchase numerous separate investments. The investment products in a mutual fund are managed by a professional and typically include numerous stocks and bonds. Like stocks, mutual funds may pay dividends, and they may also gain or lose money over time. By combining your money with the money of other investors, you can diversify even a small investment. Diversification is the concept of do not put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification reduces the risk that you will lose your money because you, can, you spread the risk of loss across many savings and investment options. Investors hope that if one investment loses money, other investments will more than make up for those losses. U.S. Treasury Securities Treasury securities are unique from other types of investment products because they are backed by the full faith and credit of the government. These include Treasury bills or T-bills are sold at a discount from their face value and range in terms from a few days to six months. When a T-bill matures, you will be paid the face value. They pay interest every six months. Treasury notes or T-notes pay interest every six months and are issued in terms of two, three, five, and ten years. Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, or TIPS, provide protection against inflation with an interest rate tied to the consumer price index. TIPS pay interest twice a year. Treasury bonds, or T-bonds, pay interest every six months and range in terms from 10 to 30 years. The minimum purchase price for these products is $100. 
Buying U.S. Treasury securities and savings bonds is a safe investment because your money is backed by the U.S. government. Savings bonds can be purchased through a payroll deduction, through your financial institution, and at treasurydirect.gov. Retirement Investments Several investment products are designed to help you save for retirement. These are Individual Retirement Arrangements, or IRAs, 401k and 403b plans, and variable annuities. An IRA, known as an Individual Retirement Account, is the most basic sort of retirement arrangement. With an IRA, you deposit money into an account, which may include a combination of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or treasury securities. These types of accounts are tax-exempt and designed to help ensure adequate income for retirees. Though an IRA generally grows over time to interest earned in your contributions, it may lose value based on the stock market and your investment choices. You should talk to an experienced investment professional for help in making the best investments for you. Types of IRAs A traditional IRA is a personal savings plan that gives you tax advantages for saving for retirement. Contributions to a traditional IRA may be tax deductible based on your, the amount of your contribution and your income. The earnings on the amounts in your IRA are not taxed until they are distributed as you withdraw them. A traditional IRA can be established at many different financial institutions, including banks, insurance companies, and brokerage firms. A Roth IRA is also a personal savings plan, but operates somewhat the reverse of a traditional IRA. For instance, contributions to a Roth IRA are not tax deductible, while contributions to a traditional IRA may be deductible on your annual income tax return. However, while distributions, including earnings, from a traditional IRA may be included in income, the distributions, including earnings, from a Roth IRA aren't included. For both IRA types, traditional and Roth, earnings that remain in the account are not taxed. A Roth IRA can be established at the same types of financial institutions as a traditional. Under a payroll deduction IRA, an employee establishes an IRA, either a traditional or Roth, with a financial institution. The employee then authorizes his or her employer to transfer a certain amount or percentage of their pay to the IRA. 401k and 403b plans. A 401k plan is a retirement savings plan established by an employer that lets its employees set aside a percentage of their pay for retirement before taxes are taken out. This can help lower your bill. A 403b plan is a retirement savings plan for employees of public schools and certain tax-exempt organizations. Characteristics of a 401k and 403b plan include a maximum contribution limit each year, you can invest up to a certain amount of your money, not counting interest earned, a penalty fee or early withdrawal before age 59 and a half, except in special circumstances, portability, you can move the money into an IRA called rolling over, or roll it over into a new 401k plan if you change employers. Choices. Generally, you get to choose how to invest the money in your plan. Your employer may match a certain percentage of the money you invest in the retirement plan. Not taking advantage of this match is like leaving free money on the table. Variable annuities. A variable annuity is like an insurance contract that invests your premium in various mutual, -like, mutual fund-like investments. It's usually sold by financial brokers and insurance agents as an investment toward retirement. The brokers and agents earn a commission on the annuity sold and may be motivated to sell you something that isn't best for you financially. Variable annuities can be very costly. You should hold the annuity for at least 10 to 20 years to justify the fees. Activity 3 will be in the assignment for today. So this concludes our reading. Let me know if you need anything.